How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? It is Mr. Donahue here again, this time taking a look at 3.1 Chemical Equation Basics. We're going to talk about, you know, here we got a chemical equation. What do all those letters and numbers even mean? Okay, so we're going to cover that, and hopefully you guys will become literate in chemical equations and all that good stuff. All right, so our objectives will be to understand how information is portrayed in a balanced chemical equation. Uh, you need to know what the following indicate. What, what's going on in those parentheses? What's that superscript? What's that subscript mean? What are the coefficients telling you? What is all that stuff mean? So let's start off. Chemical equations, right? Here's an example. They're used to represent what is going on in a chemical reaction. And it conveys a lot of information. There's a lot of information going on there. What molecules are present at the start and what new molecules are present at the end of the reaction? How much of each thing is there? What is each thing made up of? You know, what phase was everything in? Uh, so let's break it down, okay? So here's my uh, cellular respiration, basically. This is combustion of sugar, right? So we have the reactants are on the left side, so and the products are on the right side. So the reactants are what you start with, and the products are what you end up with. So the left side of the arrow are the reactants, the right side of the arrow are the products. Okay, so let's take a look at what I bolded. So these are the compounds or the molecules. They're the things involved, right? So if you take a look, C6, H12O6 is one molecule, right? O2 is one molecule. Same thing going on with CO2 and H2O. These are the molecules of interest, right? So now what's going on with these subscripts, right? So the subscript is how many atoms of each element are in a molecule. So if I have a molecule of sugar, I have six carbons, there are 12 hydrogens and there are six oxygen atoms in each molecule. In a molecule of oxygen, there's two oxygen atoms. CO2, there's one carbon and there are two oxygens. And in H2O, there are two hydrogens and just one oxygen. Okay, so what about the superscript? Right now, I don't have any superscripts in there. But if there was a number up here, for example, that's going to be the charge on the molecule. So the superscript is going to be the charge up top. Okay. So what about the coefficients, these numbers that are in front of some of these things? Well, they are telling you how many molecules of each are involved. So since there's no coefficient in front of the C6H12O6, I know that's just one. So there's one sugar molecule, and then I need six oxygen molecules, which is going to give me six carbon dioxides and six water molecules. So the coefficient tells you how many of each are involved. And what's going on with those things in parentheses? Well, the parentheses are telling you what phase is it in. If there's an S, it's a solid phase, L for liquid, G for gas, and AQ for aqueous, meaning basically that it's a solution, that it was dissolved. So you can see, start with solid sugar, uh, gas is the oxygen's in the gas phase, the carbon dioxide's in the gas phase, and the water's in the gas phase. So yeah, so an overview. Can you tell me what compounds are involved? Can you tell me how many of each atoms uh, are involved in each molecule? Can you tell me the charge of these molecules? Again, remember that if there isn't a superscript, then the charge is zero. Uh, and can you tell me what the coefficients mean? How many of each molecules are there? Uh, what phases are these things in? And can you describe, here's, there you go, do that. What compounds are involved? What it, what, I'm sorry, what each compound is made of, how many of each compound are involved, and what the products and the reactants are, and what phase is each compound in. All right? So that's what you should be able to do. Um, yeah, so try doing that right now, and then bring your results to class. All right? And then, yeah. Okay, so let me just go through this. What compounds are involved? Well, we got this HNO2 compound, right? So these are the compounds involved. Uh, some of them are ions. What is each made up of? Well, this is made up of one hydrogen, one nitrogen, and two oxygens, and hopefully you can do that for the rest of them. How many of each compound are involved? Well, there's three of the HNO2s. There's five H pluses. There's only one Cr2O2. There's three NO minus threes. There's two, four. So, yeah. Uh, what are the products and the reactants? Well, the reactants are on the left side, and the products are on the right side. You're producing the products. And what is each phase in? Again, you look here for that. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in class. Chemical equations, that's that.